All right, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Rodecaster Duo to have your mic settings sound like this, make it really easy for you. And I'm just gonna flat out say it, I'm pretty sure that the Rodecaster Duo just single-handedly killed the Go XLR. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Rodecaster Duo. I'm also gonna show you how to EQ your mic so it sounds crisp and clear like this, make sure Discord is situated, and your OBS is set up perfectly. Alrighty, so this is the Rodecaster Duo. It looks really intimidating, but I promise you after this video, you'll have a better understanding of how it works. To give you a quick rundown, Fader 1 is my mic, Fader 2 is Discord audio, Fader 3 is the sound bank audio, and Fader 4 is all of the audio compressed down sent to OBS. All right, so I zoomed in to make it a little bit easier to see the screen. To get started on the mic EQ, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the button that goes over the fader, takes it to the mic UI. Rode is really awesome because they decided to throw in a bass EQ for just about any major microphone for streaming or podcasting. So I use an SM7B, so I have it on the SM7B, and I actually cranked my DB up to 57 from 55. From here, if you click the plus sign, you can create a new preset, which is what we're gonna do. I named mine SM7B, but I'm just gonna go through all of the different uh, processing effects and EQs that I have one at a time to make it easier for you guys. All right, so let's dive right in. Go ahead and click the first one. It's gonna be your high pass filter, frequency 61 Hertz, slope 6 dB. de -esser, it's what takes the harshness from S sounds. So if you were like seven silly silver fish, it takes the S away so it's not so harsh. Hence the term de -esser. but those are my settings right there. Threshold 29.4, ratio 37 over one. Attack is 0.32, release is 112, gain zero, and frequency is 6,155. Next up, we got noise gate. I have my threshold set to 37.2, negative 37.2. The hold is 50 milliseconds. The range for me is sent to 20 dB, but that's because I have a fan going on. You might not need it that tight, but I do. Uh, I live in Arizona, so it's way too hot. The attack is uh, 1.19, the release is 133, and the last one is 0.37. Next up, we have the compressor. The threshold is negative 17.4 dB. The attack is 0 0.14, the gain is 3.3, Ratio is 3.4 over 1, and the release is 9.7 milliseconds. After that, we have the EQ. Uh, I have all the high, the mid, and the low enabled. High bell is set to 9,130 hertz. High gain is 1.2 dB. The mid bell is 298 hertz, with the mid gain being negative 2.2. And then the low bell is 90 hertz, and the low gain is 1.4. All right, moving on to the next one, we got the exciter. I have the tune set to 73.9 Hertz, the drive set to 43%, oral exciter set to 1,208 Hertz, and the harmonic set to 74%. After that, you have the panning, which you should just leave centered anyways. All right, we're gonna start working on the routing. So the best way to do this is to just hit this button again, it takes you back to the home screen. Then we're gonna go up into settings on the top right. All right, from here, we're gonna wanna click outputs. Then we're gonna select routing and just follow along, do exactly the same thing as I do and it'll just get your setup smooth, easy. You're gonna click on the first one, make sure that's set to main mix. From there, you're gonna back up, go down to USB one chat. This is your Discord chat. You're gonna to wanna to do a custom mix. And the only thing that you want on there is your mic, your soundboard, and for me, I have my guitar there, but you don't have to do that. But the reason you wanna set it up this way is that People talking to you in Discord won't hear themselves and they won't hear the stream back as well. So all they're gonna hear is just your soundboard and your mic. All right, let's go back. Now there is one thing I do wanna point out. You can run a dual PC setup. If you have a second computer, you just plug the second USB slot. There's one back here and you can actually set this and route it as well. But for the most part, that's it. That's all you need to do to get the routing internally set up for your computer. Let's head over to Discord and I'll show you how to set it up there. All right, now to set up your Discord so that it's working smooth, you're gonna wanna go to the bottom left, click on the settings icon, go down to voice and video. And the only thing you need to do is make sure that the input is set to microphone, Rodecaster Duo Chat, and that the output is speakers, Rodecaster Duo Chat. It's as simple as that. Once you do those two things, your Discord is good to go. All right, let's go ahead and get the sound settings set up. What you're gonna wanna do is in the bottom right of the taskbar, 
right click the speaker, open sound settings. The input should be set to microphone roadcaster duo main stereo. As for the output, it should be speakers, roadcaster, duo main stereo. Make sure you do not select duo chat. That is gonna be your discord audio. As long as both of those are set up, you're good to go there. Now that we have everything else taken care of, let's go ahead and set up OBS. So in OBS, all you need to do is go on the right hand side, click on settings, go over to audio, and then make sure that mic auxiliary audio is set to microphone roadcaster duo main stereo, and that's it, OBS is good to go. Now that we have all that set up, I'm gonna share two things that the roadcaster does that the GoXLR can't. First one is you can apply processing and EQ to anybody in Discord. So we all know we've had that person that blows out our ears or their mic just sounds super harsh. You can actually apply processing and EQ the same way that you did to your mic, just apply it to the Discord settings. So now when somebody talks, they'll sound better, be less harsh. It's a win-win for everyone. The second thing that the Rodecaster Duo does better than the GoXLR is it has two inputs. So if you have a friend that's over or you're trying to do a podcast, you no longer have to share a mic or fight over it. You can just plug a second mic in or like me, I play guitar. I can now plug my guitar straight into my Rodecaster Duo and everybody can hear it on stream and it actually sounds really good. If you have any questions or you need any help, feel free to leave a comment on the video or stop by a stream, kick.com forward slash kidshadow. I stream full time Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Arizona time. Always looking to help more people out. I hope this helps you with setting up your Rodecaster Duo.